Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is acrylic painting with me, Julie E. So glad you made it back today. Um, I'm gonna be working on a 10 by 10 uh, edge canvas that is from Jerry's Artorama, but I believe you can find them on Amazon also. I am experimenting with another pearl pour recipe, cloud pearl pour. And I used four ounces of each of these in some Floetrol with some Liquitex pouring medium and some GAC. And then our colors. I'm also playing with a new paint. I have never tried Creative Inspirations. You can find these at Jerry's Artorama. They had a really good sale on them, so I snaked some up just to see how they will play, how they will work. Um, and this is the color palette I am using. It is from Tish Winter at the Artist Haven channel. And she puts out a color palette challenge each week. Please go check it out. It's a lot of fun to try and do any, any type of art that you like using this color palette. So we've got um, Sea Eyes Yellow Ochre, uh, Liquitech Basics Raw Umber mixed with uh, Amsterdam Payne's Gray. That made that really pretty. Then we've got Creative Inspirations Burnt Sienna, really pretty. And Deep Yellow by Creative Inspiration. And then Sargent Art Liquid Metal in Aztec Gold. Okay. Let's start the experiment. Woohoo!
mess this up. But I know, but I know that the paints both work for uh, pearl pour. Even though the cells for the pearls are really weird. See, these are coming up doing okay, but some of them, I don't know, they look like mutant clovers. It'd probably be something like Chernobyl. <laughs> I got I got I got Chernobyl clovers on my for my pearls. Yeah, this part's cool, this part's cool, this part with the palette knife practice. Just Yeah. I fudged it. Okay, let's try this. Got my trusty little blue ball.
Cloud Pearl Reverse Dip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Okay, ready, set, here we go. Let's see if the pearls come up. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> I can't wait to watch, sit here and watch and see it develop and see if pearls just start popping. Over. Oh, look at them. You could see them. They're, they're popping up all over. Oh, this is so cool and fun. So yeah, I just took my uh, cloud pearl and put it in a puddle with the rest of the drips and then I drizzled the other colors all around and then just like you saw, smushed, smushed my canvas in it. Look at that. Look at the table. That's gonna make a pretty skin, huh? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that was me for the night. Okay, here are the wet results. And it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, this one is Chernobyl. It is a hot mess of a disaster, and there are mutant clover cells growing in it. So, yeah. But this one, this one was the cloud pearl dip. And I just think it came out absolutely awesome. I think the green is from mixing with the burnt or raw umber and um, Payne's gray mixture. I think a little bit of the blue and the Payne's gray mixed with um, some of the yellows and that's where that really pretty light green mix comes from. But yeah, I love, oh my god, the metallics in this. And then there's that Payne's gray shadowing in it that I just really love and yeah, love it. And look at that skin. Look at that skin I'm going to get. That's going to be fun to play with, too. Okay, be back in a second with dry results. Okay, here's Chernobyl, all dry. And my dog is barking at something. Maybe there's another murder bird in a tree. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I definitely need a lot more practice with balloon rolls and um, swipes, palette knife swipes. Uh, still practicing, still learning, but yeah, there it is. There is the toxic disaster that is Chernobyl, and it's kind of cool. Sorry about my dog. This one, this was the cloud pearl dip, not reverse dip, but dip, and I just absolutely love it. I love, 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 love it. Look at the shimmer. And that shimmer from that Aztec gold, so pretty. I love the reactions. Really, really super cool. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna play around some more with uh, this technique because it was so neat watching all those little um, pearl cells just pop up and develop through the paints. So, very neat. Okay, well, that's it for today. Thank you all for joining me. Loves and hugs you all. Bye.